as if when I hear it, I can remember where I was. I'm tearing up now. I can right, remember I where it. I was mm -hmm. in that. And now it's Yolanda Adams opened my heart. Yeah. And I was just going through it. And I remember that song came on. And I sat at work, honey, and you would have thought I was at a funeral. <laughs> I was crying. And it was just like a, a fresh yep. or refreshing kind of cry. Mm -hmm. And every time I hear her in that live version, songs have that effect. They and do. that's another song that's that's timeless. Absolutely. I think as an artist, too, you have that responsibility, yeah. too. Like, you have to understand that you are literally able to sing to people's yeah. souls. Yeah. And I take that very seriously. So and I don't think a lot of people do. I don't think people really realize. Yeah, they just want to sing. Right. I don't think, I mean, it, you could be, if you're a singer, if you're a rapper, mm -hmm. whoever, right. you know, that's why I respect people, um, rappers like Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. because he does have a message that in says common. something, in right, common. in that's common, who boy. says, mm -hmm. you know, has really good messages that leaves you with something mm -hmm. to think about, mm -hmm. something to ponder on, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like I would do an injustice to people yeah. if I didn't give them something, you know, to think about all the time. Of course, there's going to be fun tracks and things like mm -hmm. that, but I feel like it's, it's something still to make you think about, something that you're going to feel affirmed mm -hmm. by, and you don't feel like you're being taken away from. But this is the thing. You can have a hot track, a mm -hmm. hot song that's saying something. Yeah. It could be hot. Absolutely. So it's not, and I think sometimes people don't see the difference. Mm -hmm. They think if it's conscious or if I have something to say, it won't be a hit. They won't play it on mainstream radio. Right. But if you're talented mm -hmm. in any genre, right. and if you sing the hell out of that song, right. or you speak that or you rap that Absolutely. or you feel that and you put everything that you have into it and, and if you have you know good music good production and all of that it's going to be a hit right it's going to be a hit so okay so Tyrese have you heard about his rant <laughs> okay so for those of you that don't know um Tyrese is saying that R&B is dead he just released um I guess about a month and a half maybe even two months now he released um his CD Black Rose, Rose yep. um which is off the chain um mm -hmm. And he wanted to, he did it independently, and he was talking about he didn't have to do that, but that's what he wanted to do because he felt like the larger record labels, they really weren't pushing and supporting R&B, mm -hmm. and he was upset that um, they can play Sam Smith and Adele and all of the um, the white artists on black stations, right. um, but they won't play the black artists on white stations as far as R&B is concerned. Mm -hmm. So he went out doing self-promotion. And, you know, I got to hand it to Tyrese because he was number one in 15 countries the first week right. because he went out pushing it and promoting it as he wanted the major record label to do. So that go and he you know, saying that R&B is dead. Do you feel that real music, real soul music is dead? Or do you, can you think of some artists that are really making good I would good say it's not dead, it's lacking. It's sleep. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's sleep. not dead, it's just playing sleep. It's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's just playing dead. It is. I mean, but uh, I think that's kind of true, though, be yeah. because a lot of the artists who are saying something yeah. in their music aren't really getting a whole yeah. lot of play. Yeah. I mean, look at India Irie, for example. Yeah. I can listen Beautiful to her. Surprise is my right. favorite song. You can listen to her Dime is probably shaking his CD. head because he's going to say, all oh, women like that. Watch. <laughs> Uh oh, he's getting mic'd. Uh oh. Last time I did something, he's like, all oh, you women like that. But yeah. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. Let me say something. Okay. Diamond's trying to get mic'd. Yeah, let me. All right. Hold up. All right. But yeah, NDI Reed, you, you want it? Yeah, you want it. It's y'all's fault. <laughs> he said it's the lady's fault. Why? Because y'all listen to the songs y'all want to listen to, and y'all listen to the new stuff. Like, he said we listen to the songs we want to listen to and not the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, but some of the stuff, but because I have young daughters, I, I, I know everything. I don't like everything, right. but I know, and it's, it'll catch me like um, that Crooked Smile by J. Cole. To me, he yeah, was that's saying cool. something. That's my right. jam. That's on my iTunes. And that's like a recent song. He's, a, you know, one of the hottest rappers out there. I mean, it's a lot of things that'll catch me because it's a message. Hmm? No, I do. I would love, yes, I do. No, I listen to the songs I, well, oh, if you go absolutely. to my iPod, I, I have new songs. 
No, look. <laughs> he, said she, he said she's rare. She listens to the wind. But if you look at my iPod, true enough, I do have a lot of old music, but I do have a lot of new music integrated in mm-hmm. that. Now, I will say I have more older music, right. but it's not like I don't want to. Like, I'm not going to feed my, if you know. Mm-hmm. I'm just not gonna do it if I don't like it. But it's some stuff every now and then. I mean, you might laugh, but I like watch me whip, watch me nay nay. <laughs> I like that. I think it's cute. Watch me whip, whip, watch me, whip, watch me, ooh, ooh, watch me, watch me, right. ooh, watch me. I will do it with a child in a minute. I will pull a child up. Like, come on, let's do it. You know, certain you things are contagion. You didn't seek that out. No, I didn't seek it out. But how do you seek out that? Like, how do you seek out, unless you go on YouTube, I, you know, or... And I find things through Instagram. Pandora, too. Okay. So if I find, I, from my producer especially, he would give me people to listen to yeah. because of, you know, where I want my music yeah. to be and, you know, some of the influences that he heard in my voice. Yeah. He's like, well, why don't you listen to this person since you've because never heard Because older them. people inspire you to kind of create similar music or that same vibe but right. it's the new music right it's a lot it's mm-hmm. a lot of new artists i mean for me i would just listen to pandora and i would find different people mm-hmm. and i actually really search them out through pandora i will mm-hmm. purposely go the to same, a different radio good. station yeah. snarky puppy and different people who i had find really new listen to so i can hear about some different yeah. artists i mean and a lot of times bet um two or vh1 soul they play like a lot of different people. And, uh, and sometimes my daughter, my 22 year old, she'll put me onto a lot of people right. as well. But sometimes they'll play artists and you be like, who is that? And they're really, really good. And then yeah. also, you know, Instagram and people, everybody got a mixtape or yep. everyone has something. So new music that way too. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, that is true. A lot of people do. I will say that a lot of people do listen to what they're used to yeah. or what they like but you were talking about um india Ari. what's your favorite um india Ari song mm. i can't choose favorites right um, what what song do you like um i like she said he that, said brown skin. No, that's, that's my first song. guys like that because of the lyrics to that song <laughs> it's because it's a sexy type of song he said he's talking about brown skin uh-huh i like the truth. i can't tell where yours begins and mine mm-hmm. ends that's a good one that's a good <laughs> yeah one. that is a good one i like the truth i like uh, oh, the beautiful truth. yeah beautiful surprise mm-hmm. you're talking about a beautiful surprise is one of my favorites and that yes. song is only like two minutes like, right. if you look at it, it's very short, but the words... Yeah, but she has another one called Beautiful, oh. too. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so, okay. Yeah, those two are different. And Private but, um, Party, you ever heard that? That's I my jam. That That's my jam. Private Party, you know, you know the song? I'm having a private party. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I would like you to look that up and listen to a new song, Diamond, right? Find some new music. <laughs> but yep. isn't that, that song is good. It is a good one. Mm-hmm. It, it leaves you with something to yeah. think about, right? Because yeah. self-image, that's another yeah. thing that I, I'd like to hit on, too, is self-image mm-hmm. and, you know, understanding your worth mm-hmm. and not basing it on what someone else thinks about you. Because you're a person with substance. Absolutely. Um, you're a person that... Those things are important. Right. They're important to you. Right. Um, do you so how do you feel about categories and labels on artists, music, songwriters? How do you feel about Neo Soul? Because a lot of when Neo Soul first came out, that wasn't something that the artists decided to name right. it. That's what people were saying. It's right. new soul, neo soul. That's what it mm-hmm. is. And I know a lot of neo soul artists, and for those of you that don't know, Jill Scott, Raheem Devon was in there, Kindred and Kindred and Family Soul, music. um Indy Ari, Music Soul Child. Um Layla um Leela James was in there a little bit. I think she's coming out into yeah, the R and B or just soul. But a lot of people, um Dwelle, Bilal, um, different neo soul artists, um, they didn't really like that. What do you think about the labels and Well, all for of that? me personally, mm-hmm. I don't like to be boxed in at all. So you're just a singer, a uh-huh. musician. I mean, if I had Soul singer, most people, jazz singer. most people say, "Well, if you had to box yourself in, I, I don't Mm-mm. like that. I don't um, like boxes at all. <laughs> um, if you had to put yourself in a category, um, I would say that it's it's a fusion between R and B." soul and what they would consider that neo soul but i see you as jazz too though i hear that yeah i hear when i hear you it's something about because when you can sing and you have that voice it's almost like an instrument yes like when people are singing like if you ever been to a jill scott concert and you just sing her see her flat-footed on the mic no music 
it's almost like an instrument. So it's like Chrisette Michelle. Right. And like Layla when you Hathaway. hear, Lay- oh gosh, Layla Hathaway. <laughs> yes. It's just something about that. Even my girl, Shantae Moore, I love her voice. I used to mm-hmm. say it all the time. Back in the day, Shantae's got a man. Well, I don't want Shantae, so that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, but she, like before, you know, the new R&B divas and before she was highlighted now on television, right. I've been a fan of Shantae Moore since 1992. Mm-hmm. And the girl can sing. It's something about that angelic kind of, I'm not trying too hard. I'm just using my God-given gift, mm-hmm. and I'm going to blow the roof off this thing. Right. You know what I mean? I don't, and I'm probably the only black chick that's just, just, just probably going to say this, but I don't like screaming, hollering, stomping singers. I don't. Just right. because you're loud and raspy and ah, that doesn't mean that you can sing well. That doesn't mean that you're moving everybody. I like the people that are just telling that story. That's why when t- um, Kirk Franklin wrote... Um, Taking to the King for mm-hmm. Tamala Mann. That's awesome. He was saying that he wanted her to just sing. Because you everybody knows that Tamala Mann can tear yeah. the roof off. Yeah. But she he said in the beginning, I just want you to sing. And she's like, Sometimes I can't sing. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. But she's just like, to yeah. me, that's mm-hmm. more effective sometimes. Because when you're hollering, and it's no shade against um Fantasia. She has a lot of songs that mm-hmm. I that I yeah, like. I like so too. it's no shade to Fantasia. But sometimes the hollering. Mm-hmm. But when she does her chilled songs, mm-hmm. it's like it's really good. It touches, right? Yeah. Like side effects of you, right? Like, oh yeah, so yeah. Good. That's really, really a good so song. So good. And even you got to win to lose to play the game. Yeah. And just how she because it's a message. Mm-hmm. Everybody can relate to that. Right. So and I and I and I say that because you don't seem like a hollering singer. I used to be upset that I couldn't do it. Right. And all the br- bravados and all right. the... Like, I'll play with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, jazz is one of those things that I yeah. am leaning towards. But um, I I could never be a hollerer. It wouldn't mm-hmm. be authentic of me right. to do it. To right? be trying to stomp your foot. Right. I, that's, right. that's not it's me. Sick. I admire people who can do it and, yeah. like, really do it well. But it, that's just not me. See, I like the all. people that just can float over a track. Right. Like, that's something that really is moving mm-hmm. that melodic that kind of just take that it's almost like they're taking you on a journey right. like i don't want somebody hollering at me i'm like whoa whoa <laughs> whoa and you like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like that's too much but some people like that that's like true. on when america when, and i'll go back because i haven't even watched this in years but american idol when mm. um Fantasia and was Jennifer Hudson and it was Latoya. I can't think of Latoya's name, her last name, but I was the only one voting for her because mm-hmm. she can sing and she just, you know, yeah. yeah. People th- thought she exactly. People thought she was boring because, but that's because she wasn't <laughs> kicking her shoes off. All right, and now and I, and now real quick, I'm gonna talk about. Well, every. <laughs> well, everybody knows like New Edition's blood runs through my veins since I was like ten. Like they're my favorite <laughs> ever. Anything that happens, I even got a fan page on Facebook. We ain't gonna talk about that. But even part of when, um, so I say this to say like when Johnny Gill sings or Gerald Levert sings, mm-hmm. um, I don't like when they holler. Like mm-hmm. when Gerald Levert had a song called I think Baby Something, he just floated, mm-hmm. and then. Um, um, Johnny Gill is a song called It's Been You and Trey Songs did it and Johnny Gill's did it. You ever heard it? No. Okay, you okay, so you have homework. I know Diamond Oh Lord, he went back to nineteen ninety. <laughs> but it's a song and it's just really, really melodic. So mm-hmm. even some of the best singers when they kinda take it down a notch, I think that they can reach more people. Do you Agree I think everybody just has their style. Yeah. Right. I yeah. think once we start critiquing and telling people what yeah. they should do and yeah. what they, sh- they shouldn't, it goes back to what we said before: is that we can't reach everybody. Yeah. Right. So Fantasia has her That's right. her group of That's people right. that she's supposed to reach. Yeah. And you know, same with every other yeah, artist. You're right. right. They have the people who they you know really connect with. That's why we don't need cookie cutters. That's why we right. need somebody because there's somebody for everybody. You're absolutely right. right. There are people that like people to scream and holler and tear the roof. Mm -hmm. There are people that like mellow, more mellow. There are people that like rap. There are people that like hip hop. There are people that like, and you're right. I think, and that's what I think should, it should be. Right. You should have a lot of different artists, but sometimes you don't see that now because Mm -hmm. everybody is pretty much the same. 
Yeah, I think it's because they want to be famous. Or the hottest, the next hottest. <laughs> right. I want to get on the radio, so let right. me do this, you know, this hot beat that right. has like 10 words and right. just repeat it. <laughs> but, then it's, but, then, but then it's like, it's, oh, wait a minute, the same song's been on for an hour. My daughter would be like, no, they, that was like eight songs, <laughs> but they right. all sound right. the same. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just think individuality is really important. I agree. I think people I are like really hungry to hear something different. Yeah. And you can't really... Some people don't know what they want until they hear something. Yeah, that's true. They may say, oh, well, I want something different. Well, they may not know exactly what it is. Yeah. Right? So I just feel like people have to be open to different things. I agree. Um, I mean, so as far as, that's the, the thing as far as black music, white music, do you disagree I, with I that? I think that's dumb. Because music is music. <laughs> I listen to everything. Well, I had no choice. In, in our generation, and you guys may know that, like, back in the day, you listened to everything. Like, I don't know how it was in Baltimore, but in Jersey, like, they would play everything on the radio. It mm -hmm. wasn't, like, white music or black music. Mm -hmm. I mean, you uh, back then it was, like, George Michael, Boy George, Olivia Newton-John. Then they would have Patti LaBelle. Then they would have whoever. Like, right. everybody just played. Right. And you would sing all the songs. And then as things started changing where they had, wow. you know, with Ka or Kathy Hughes started <laughs> her radio stations, you know. Um, shout out to, to Kathy Hughes. But then started, then it became black music and black formats and mm -hmm. white formats and it was a separatism i don't think it should be like that mm -hmm. i don't I think either music is music i agree period i mean if you listen to adele adele can speak to Ooh, anybody chasing pavements love it you have you heard that song diamond yeah. no you haven't you just don't want more homework <laughs> but have you latoya it needs to be separation why he a diamond said he uh, thinks it needs to be separation no it's not so you got Right. Uh huh. You need to have different different shows of different folks. Some people, you know, you know, some white boys with a pickup truck. They want to hear. He said the white boys with a pickup. Yeah, the white boys with a pickup truck may not want to hear Tyrese Black Rose. <laughs> That's the problem. That's why Tyrese is mad. But um, Diamond was saying that. Um, the people, like young kids, if they're not in relationships, then they don't want to listen to relationship music. But it should be something for everybody. You think it should be like white music, black music, Asian music? Because there are a lot of Asian people that are singing soul. There are a lot of... Right. Okay. He said it's more culture than race. Oh, yeah. I know some, too. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. He said he knows some black people that are whiter than white and white... Yeah. Black. Yeah, and black and the black. And yep. some people, I never forget when, I always date myself on this show. Dang. It's all right. But um, when Lisa Stansfield came out with Been Around the World, Can't Find My Baby, you could mm -hmm. not tell me that she was white. <laughs> like, nobody believed it. And then I remember it was a big thing. Everybody was showing the record, um, record, yeah, I did say record, right. the record jacket. <laughs> right. They were like, ah, she's white. Like, nobody believed that. It's gonna sound like it. And, like, Simply Red, and was a lot of people, a lot of, um, Seems like a lot of people from London mm -hmm. come over here and, and they do that music. So is it important to you? Did you want to say oh, something else about, I don't want to, you know, make sure you mm -hmm. get everything out. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> so is it is it something that you do purposely? Do you want to talk to young girls through your music? Do you want to, I don't want to say be a role model, but maybe be an inspiration to the youth? Or is that something that you're not even interested in? I and it's okay. Um. I don't think I have like a, a specific category, okay. to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I take it really from where I am mm -hmm. and where I've been. Okay. Right? So I think from where I am right now and anyone who is, you know, anywhere behind me in age, mm -hmm. I feel like I could be able to, I am able to, to say something that relates to mm -hmm. them um, in any way. So just authentic music. Right. Just authentic music. Mm -hmm. Life. <laughs> I okay. think anybody relates to life, to I be agree. honest. So, so that's really where I pull okay. it from. Okay. All right. So um, when you sit down to write a, a song mm -hmm. and you're sitting there and um, what's the vibe like and what's your motivation? Like what's your muse when you say, okay, I'm going to write? Or do you even mm -hmm. say I'm going to write? Is it something that just happens? It, sometimes I try to force myself to okay. write. And usually during those times, they're not good sessions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like usually overthinking it and trying to make it perfect, right. you know, the first time. 
but um, I, I'm trying to teach myself to just right. write down all of my thoughts right. and then go back later right. and then sift through it right. and see, you know, what's good, what's not. Right. I may not have a, a melody in right. mind at the moment, but just to get all of my thoughts right. out is what, something I'm practicing more because okay. I'll just be like... I'm not writing a day. Right. <laughs> and then come back to it another day. Or other times, um, like a song I wrote the other, um, about a week and a half mm -hmm. ago, it was just because I was emotional. Yeah. And Those I'm are the like, best songs, though. They are. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going through something. Right. So I was, I was in like a, a, a pity party uh -huh. stage or, you know, Having an emotional fit. Party. Right? Yeah. And... I was just like, I need to do something. One, because I'm upset and I don't mm -hmm. want to continue to uh -huh. be upset. So I just turned my voice recorder on on my phone and just started singing. And whatever came out, came out. And it just so happened that um, I'll actually be performing it next week. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'll be That's in really um, good. D.C. at uh, the Treehouse Lounge. Okay, and we're going to talk about, at yeah. the end, we're going to go through all, because she's on a, a motivational musical tour. Tour, yes, True so, Motivation. Um, true Motivation uh, musical tour. And a lot of the dates I saw were free. Yes. So we're definitely going to talk about that. Um, winding down, I just want to know... Um, Top three songs on your playlist. Oh, man. This is always so hard. Yeah, it is. Especially if you're a lover of music. I know. Honestly, my songs are at the top of my okay, playlist right well now. now. <laughs> Self-love. I, I always said I wanted to be able to like play my own stuff instead uh -huh. of always running to somebody uh -huh. else's. So I've been listening to my own stuff lately. Okay. So, that, I mean, that's good. If yeah. you, I mean, because you can expect nobody else to listen if you ain't listening. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so... When you think about your future and mm -hmm. you think about your future as a musician, singer, songwriter, what does it look like? Um, I just started the affirmation the other day that says um, I sell out stadiums. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, I just want to reach people yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, I want to travel the world. I've always wanted to travel the world, period. Um, just to meet new people, you know, engulf in new new cultures. I, I love people. That's I like wonderful. learning yeah. um, as well. Because a lot of times we kind of sit around and we just think that this is the world. It's in a small our, world. Yeah, yeah you're general right. vicinity. Yeah. But, um, I mean, being an engineer, I had the opportunity to go to China and oh, to wow. go to Malaysia. Oh, wow. And it is totally different yeah. there than it is here. Um, so, you know, you may think that you are a minority here. Go to China and you're the only <laughs> <laughs> black yeah, person yeah. in the vicinity. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I but mean, I think it, that it teaches us is. sensitivity and, it and does. tolerance for other. It does. I, I wrote a post one time and it says that going to China made me grateful and mm -hmm. going to Malaysia made me humble. Oh, wow. Because wow. the living awesome. conditions in, mm -hmm. in some of those places Music. are way below what yeah. I have ever lived in. Yeah. Um, I mean, people live in tin huts and right above the water. They don't have trash systems in some places. So it's it's like trash near the, the shores of the water. Oh, wow. Kids run around with no shoes on, but they're just as happy as can be. Um, but it just makes you look at, like, I have iPads and yeah. phones, and I'm, I'm complaining about not having yeah. something where somebody doesn't have a shirt to put on their back or shoes on their feet. And they're content. Yeah. It just makes you look at life a lot differently. And what's really important at the end of the day. Absolutely. And I think everybody really should have that type of experience because mm -hmm. I think people stop complaining. Yeah. And stop talking about what they don't have and really appreciate what they do have and mm -hmm. who they do who who they have. It's true. I hear people complain mm -hmm. all the time on, Oh, I don't have this or I don't have this. I have um and and and, and I say this um with a very sincere heart. Um with um, people I went to school with, uh, Patrice and Patrick uh, Dawson, they lost their mother and father a week apart. Wow. They just had a funeral. So when you think about that, they, not, they don't care what the latest is and what the hottest is and what they don't have. They lost their parents. Right. So if you are blessed enough to have your parents alive, your grandparents, your children alive, that's all you need. Right. And people don't realize life is simple. The, mm -hmm. simpl it's sim the simplicity of life is really all you need. And mm -hmm. a lot of people get caught up in a lot of things. So I think everybody should have that experience. Right. I really, really do. Because that only makes you a better person, a better songwriter. Right. Just, uh, just, it just makes you just all around just a, a better a better person. I think so too. So that's I mean that's a great experience. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so tell the viewers how they could 
stay connected with you. Tell them about your tour. Yes. Tell them about all of that, all the people that are on the card with you. Yes. Yeah, so um, first of all, thank you for listening. Um, first place that you can connect with me is jewelsings.com, J-E-W-E-L-S-I-N-G-S.com. And you can connect with me everywhere there. Um, the True Motivation Tour is headlined by Brother Calvin Tucker. He's a um, gospel and inspirational singer. Okay. I've known him since high school um, right here in Woodlawn. Um, and we talked about this tour probably months and months ago, probably late last year. Okay. And he said, I want to put the tour together. You know, who's game? And, you know, I was like, okay, I'll do it. And it kind of fell through in the beginning, but a few months ago, he's like, okay, I'm really going to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's myself, um, Kawan, uh, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name. Okay. Kawandi, I okay. it's his name, Kawandi Fidel. Because they can go right to your Instagram right. and see it, the flyer. They're right on there. Okay. He's a spoken word artist as well. And it's all about inspiration. It's all about motivation. It's about like bringing healing to the spaces, really. Um, a lot of times and we, we need that. We do. we do. I mean, there's so much going on, especially here in Baltimore and around the world. I mean, we are inundated with mm -hmm. just all the negative mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. I think since the riots were here, I think it's just been a, a yeah. slippery slope. Yeah. Um, everywhere. Because people, and I always say this, when when you have hope, you have something to hold on to. Absolutely. You have something to to grasp and say, okay, it could be better. But when you lose hope, right. It's a wrap. It's a wash when people feel, and I think that's what's happened with a lot of young people, just people around the, the country. They're losing hope, so they, they don't care. They don't see the right. next day coming. Right, exactly. Yeah, so and I it's think like it's good that you guys really are doing that. Yeah. To everything. Yeah. So it is. It's kind of just to kind of bring life back yeah. into people. Oh, I think that's great. Um, so we'll actually be starting it um, right here in Baltimore at Terra Cafe on Oh, September I love 5th. that place. Yes. Yeah, good turkey burgers, girl. Yes, <laughs> and it's free. Free oh, I 99. Love that. <laughs> free 99. <laughs> they say if it's free, it's me. Right, exactly. So, oh, wonderful. Yeah, it'll be there. Um, all of the all of our future dates are, are on my website. Okay. Um, and when's the date with Terra Cafe? What's so the first Terra date? Cafe is going to be September the 5th. Okay. That's and what day Saturday is that day. on? A Saturday. Saturday. So you guys in, in the Baltimore area, DMV area, if you're listening, come out and support them. Like she said, motivational music. Right. We all can use that. Right. That's not something good vibes, that none of us Good use. music. Terra and good Cafe food. has good food. <laughs> good food. <laughs> so it'll be a, a great time. But it's just a yeah. time for us to just really connect with the community Wonderful. and just give a safe place, really, okay. for people to come and just enjoy and let the hair down okay and they can meet you in person and listen to the voice Absolutely. so as I, I promised you all um i want to uh, well let, i'm just gonna go with my clothes and i was and then i'll let you sing us okay. out we'll all do right. it that way because i was just gonna let you sing um just now okay <laughs> so we'll let her sing us out but first i want to say thank you thank you Joelle. thank me. you so much for being an awesome Guess Thank you really you. were, and you look beautiful. Thank you. I'm losing my way here, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you look be beautiful. You. Um, you're an intelligent woman, an educated woman. You care about people. You know what I mean? That's the type of people that I want on the show. You're right. looking to inspire and motivate others. You're mm -hmm. thinking about jumping out you know, on your own, taking that leap of faith yeah. to pursue your dream. And I'm all for that. Yes. I'm all for, as you guys know, if you've listened to me, if you've seen my YouTube um, channel, I'm all about, as I said in the beginning, uplifting, inspiring, and motivating um, everyone, especially women. So I love to see other women that, that feel the same and do the same. So thank you so much. All right. So like I said, Joelle uh, wants to motivate the world through her music, which is awesome. So you'll get to hear that in a, in a bit. Um, I want to motivate the world with my words. Um, we all have the ability to touch someone. It's about inspiring, uh, empowering, and motivating one another uh, to make a difference in this world. Um, I, hope, I hope that this show has gotten your juices flowing. Um, and your contributions and your dreams and goals will not be ignored. Um, as she says, she wants to, to take that leap of faith to pursue her dreams. And I hope that something was moved in you that you want to do the same. Know who you are and know who you are. And anything that you dream, you can do it. With, power, with, with hard work and persistence, you can be whatever you want to be. People always say knowledge is the key. Knowledge is the key 
in addition to taking action. That's right. Um, God will provide. God will help you along, but God only helps those who help themselves. Mm -hmm. um, God gives us the wisdom to make the right choices and to, to make moves, but you can't be scared. Right. You cannot be scared. If you want to take that leap of faith, take that leap of faith. See what happens. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. You can take that leap of faith again. There's no expiration date or time with your dreams and goals and the expirations of uh, taking that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. All of the people that are successful, all of the people that are entrepreneurs, all of the people that are somebody that you know, they failed a million times. Right. But they got back up. And they did it again. And that's what you have to do. Don't beat yourself up. If you fail, a failure is just showing that you tried. Right. You don't see that you can do it unless you try. So take that leap of faith and do what you love to do. This is your girl, Kendall Lanise. And thank you for tuning in to Conversations. I'm going to leave you guys with Joel Dion. When the world around you seems to crumble. Clouds will come and then here comes the rain. Mm. When there is no peace inside, no refuge, and everything is driving you insane, just take a moment. Relax your mind, just take a moment. Mm. Just take a deep breath in and smile. Just take a deep breath in and smile. Rain or shine, good or bad. Whether it's the way I want it to be. I'll take a deep breath in and smile. I'll take a deep breath in and smile. Thanks for listening, guys. This is Joelle Dion. And what's the name of the song? This is Deep Breath. All right. <laughs> remember, thank you again for watching Conversations with Kendall Lanise. And remember, you are a star, so don't let anyone steal your shine. Thank you for tuning. Until next time. Peace. Peace. Yes, girl, your voice. Thank you.